I don't know anyone who thinks they're getting the most out of life. Most people I know are windscreen wipers. You know, they get up in the morning, they get dressed, they have breakfast, they go to work, they spend eight hours at the desk pretending to care about whatever the company cares about, and then they go home and they make dinner and they watch Netflix and then they go to bed and then they basically do the same thing the next day. If you want to get more than that out of life, you're going to need a plan. Join me after the jump to learn how to write a Rosh Hashanah plan that actually works. If you seek it as silver and search for it as treasure, then you will understand the fear of God. King Solomon's telling us, if you want to succeed in your personal growth, you have to approach it like you would a business. If you were starting a new business, you wouldn't go in blind. You would make a business plan. And the first thing you need for a successful new year is a new year personal plan. Here's how you write one. The first thing you need to be successful is to know what you're trying to achieve. If you hop into a taxi with no idea of where you're going to go, it could turn out to be a very expensive ride. And a lot of people do that with their lives. You know, a lot of people go through life with no particular goal. And years later, they look back and say, boy, did I waste a lot of time. If you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. On the other hand, you might know where you want to go, but you don't know where you are. You're going to need some self-awareness and some self-acceptance to be able to move from where you are to where you want to go. Make sure you have both when you're writing your plan. I've been married for more than 22 kilos and I went recently to my brother-in-law, Natan, who's an exercise physiologist, and I asked him how to lose that weight and what he told me actually changed the way I think about personal growth. He said, how long did it take you to put on that weight? I said, well, it took 18 years. He said, and let me guess, you're going to ask me how can I lose it all in three months, right? Bad habits took time to develop. Good habits will too. Don't exercise your willpower, exercise your habits. Pick small actions you can do every day that will make a difference over the long haul. One of the signs of a healthy business is balance a certain amount to HR, and a certain amount to sales, and a certain amount to marketing, a certain amount to R&D, a certain amount to IT, but all the different departments don't get exactly the same, but they do get what they need. It's the same on a personal level. You know, all of us are trying to balance our aspirations, plus our work, plus our key relationships, plus our Jewish growth, plus our emotional and mental health, plus our physical health, right, plus our finances. There's a lot going on in people's lives. These categories need to have an appropriate place in our life. Make yourself a rough chart of where you are right now, and then make a chart of where you'd like to be. And those steps that you need to take to balance out the areas that are out of balance, make sure you add that to your new year plan as well. If you want to have a better life, you're going to have that better life on the other side of personal change. Make sure you take time before Rosh Hashanah to write that new year plan. Present that to God on Rosh Hashanah then he's going to be as excited as you are to make it happen in the upcoming year.